Uh, hello, this is Dr. Prasad Potiyalam, continuing my uh, uh, class series on biology for engineers. All the uh, classes already covered, all five modules classes covered. Then uh, find the, uh, the playlist uh, link uh, under the description box of this video. As well as the study material which I kept in a drive, you can uh, freely download it. Okay, based on that study materials, as well as one question bank is also provided there. That, that question bank only I am uh, uh, displaying here. From that question bank, how possible you can answer for that particular question, what are that can be included to the maximum level. Okay, I never say that as such you need to write. That is the concept behind what is the answer required based on that question. If that type of question is asked, most of my questions are uh, level uh, 3 and uh, level 2. Level 2 or less, I made most of them as level 3 and level 4 questions. Usually, you can expect level 2 questions which are uh, comparatively easy to answer. Uh, the answer, uh, whatever you want to write, that will be a little bit uh, easier one. So, you can go through that. Uh, sometimes, uh, they can uh, one can modify the question uh, and it can be made to uh, level 2 or even uh, level 3 as well can be made. Level 2 questions uh, are somewhat easy questions. Level 3 and uh, level 4 questions are uh, answer somewhat more better answers required for that. Okay. So, based on that, this is uh, module 3 uh, class uh, part 2 of the discussion on the possible answer. I am not explaining once again what the in detail about the matter. Already explained it. Uh, that is there available in the YouTube channel playlist I am giving in the description box. Okay, so continuing question, uh, discuss the concept of uh, CKD including the causes, uh, symptoms and potential uh, complications. Uh, describe the treatment options available for that. Okay, CKD it stands for chronic kidney diseases. It is a long term condition in which the kidneys gradually become less able to function properly. Symptoms include the fatigue, swelling in legs, feet or uh, uh, finding uh, trouble in uh, sleeping, uh, uh, difficulty in concentrating. These are uh, uh, maybe due to other complications like anemia, nerve damages, um, uh, heart diseases, stroke, these are become a cause for that. Treatment includes the lifestyle changes we have to adjust to the, you should understand uh, that uh, this type of issues will come and we have to change our lifestyle, eating habit, we have to uh, change diet, all these things general only you can write. So that is about CKD and what it is, uh, what are the treatment as such. Question 34, compare and contrast two main difficult, main types of uh, dialysis systems uh, that is hemodialysis and perineal dialysis. Uh, uh, discuss how these symptoms, uh, systems function in removing waste uh, and excess fluid from the blood. Explain the advantages and disadvantages of each method. Okay, so we know that dialysis, it is a medical uh, treatment which is done to remove the excess waste for the excess fluid from the blood, uh, which will always uh, make the blood to not to function in a proper way. So there are two main types like mentioned in the question, hemodialysis and uh, peritoneal dialysis. A detailed uh, image and all is given in the study material. Hemodialysis, what is the procedure is done that uh, explained already that you need to write. And uh, peritoneal dialysis also, how it is done, that small procedure, how, how it works that you have to give. Now question number 35, uh, describe how the muscular system can be used as a scaffold. Scaffold means a structural material. In regenerative medicine, provide example of uh, their applications in the treatment of damaged heart tissues and skeletal muscle injuries. Okay, so use of uh, muscular system as scaffold, it is already explained. One example is given. Uh, uh, to treat the uh, heart tissues, which researchers are developing uh, to create a functional or three dimensional scaffold which can support the growth of new heart tissues. Because heart, if some damage happened, either it has to grow by itself or we have to support, uh, su supporting system has to be given so that that muscle tissues will grow uh, naturally. Okay, for that, we are using this type of uh, Scaffold. The scaffold means a particular system which is used or uh, three dimensional uh, structures which are uh, used uh, which are biocompatible, it will not may create any issues to us, uh, but it support the cell growth. 
Now explain the architecture of a skeletal muscle including the organization of muscle fibers connecting tissue layers and role of sacromeres in, uh, in uh, the muscle contraction. Okay, so the muscles, each muscle fiber I can see that this is the representation of a muscle fiber. It consists of many uh, uh, terms, biological terms are used. At least you should uh, know these are the terms which are facile is there like that. Uh, you should uh, able to uh, recall some of the terms uh, uh, which are the different parts of that. That is not actual worry. How this muscle are uh, moving, that uh, muscle contraction and uh, expansion takes place. So that is required for the engineers so that they can design something similar to that. So that is again represented here, the representing of sacromia like the myosin and acting uh, filaments or uh, those are uh, uh, responsible for the muscle movement or as well as the muscle contraction and expansion. Muscle movement is different. So contraction and uh, uh, expansion that is done with the help of myosin as well as uh, acting. Okay, now moving to the next question. Discuss the mechanism involved in uh, using muscle cells and scaffolds for uh, tissue generation in regenerative medicine. Explain the steps involved in growing muscle tissue using hydrogels for artificial scaffold and the importance of cell differentiation in tissue formation. That means the muscle cells it itself can be used as, as a scaffold or we can use artificial one that is hydrogels are used as a scaffold that is explained here hydrogels how the, it can be used that with the image it is represented in the study material and it is explained uh, then uh, how it is uh, it can be used to make that particular uh, 3D matrix how to get that and how it can be used that is also explained. The process is also given uh, harvesting the muscle cells, seeding into scaffold, then uh, the formation and it, then it is implanted to the patients. The muscle cell itself can be acted, can be made as a scaffold, it can be converted into a scaffold known as the extracellular matrix ECM. That ECM uh, which is actually this is the structure of that muscle. Okay, so the structure in which the extra things are removed, then it becomes the three-dimensional structure for the growth of the cell. Okay, so harvesting the muscle tissues, removing the cells, uh, then uh, making it as a treating as a uh, scaffold, then seeding the required cell for the growth, then making the tissue cells to grow as a tissue, then uh, they, they are getting integrated, they are connecting to each other. Uh, that particular uh, procedure it is explained in this okay so uh, roughly you need to uh, write uh, these steps uh, with uh, the sketch uh, it looks complicated uh, image looks complicated if you can't draw don't draw it but uh, still the you should know you should be have that uh, uh, imagination that this is actually a three-dimensional structure which is used from the muscle uh, tissue muscle uh, cell only uh, muscle tissues are taken and from that uh, extra cells are removed and it is used for the growth of another uh, required cells. Okay, now next question that is explore the bioengineering solution being developed for muscular uh, dystrophy. Explain how these methods are used. Question as such this will not be given. Explain how it can be uh, controlled or the disease can be controlled like the questions will be asked. Okay, so here the you can see the normal uh, biceps muscle uh, uh, how it looks, and uh, when a, when a person having a muscular uh, dystrophy, the muscles are not having that strength. Okay, so uh, it is a group of uh, genetic disorder which results in the progressive weakness and uh, degeneration of skeletal muscles, which are responsible for the movement. Like uh, Duchenne muscular dystrophy is most common, and many other things are also found out. Uh, that names also given there and uh, what age it comes, what are the uh, age group are getting affected that also explained in this. Okay, you need to go through that, uh, you need to listen to my detailed uh, uh, talk on that. Now bioengineering solutions, uh, gene therapy can be used, stem cell therapy can be used, exoskeleton technology can be used, tissue engineering, these are the engineering concepts which are used to which uh, many other uh, supporting uh, 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 engineering uh, methods like uh, computer science or artificial intelligence, they are also contributing towards uh, this. That also you can uh, connect it to that. Okay, that about uh, the part two of uh, module three video. Part three I'll be covering later. 
uh, a separate video so once again thank you for watching my video for being a, a subscriber for that this this particular section class videos are only making you to see that for a particular question what is the answer expected because sometimes the question may confuse you so such a question comes letter question comes what you need to answer from which part of the notes the answer is available that i am explaining in this particular class videos so once again thank you very much